What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Happy Hump Day, and welcome back to the Meme Coin Chill and Chill Space, where we talk about, obviously, the hottest meme coins in the market right now, overall cryptocurrency news, but also give meme coin projects the opportunity to come up here and chill the project they're representing. And wow, we had a little bit of a recovery today. Yesterday was a pretty grim day in crypto. Everyone is freaking out. The sky was falling, per usual, when, you know, Bitcoin dumps a little bit. And of course, you know, altcoins follow, and then meme coins follow like crazy. But today, we had a lot of recoveries for a bunch of meme coins. Bitcoin did recover a little bit, but a lot of excitement back in the meme coin world. Jake, happy Wednesday. How you doing, brother? Happy hump day, Rodney. We're doing good, man. Like you said, a nice recovery in the crypto space, which is, which is good, but also expected. You know, anytime you see a pullback like we saw yesterday, I think we were down like 5 or 6% of the day, which is wild uh, in the crypto space. You expect to see a nice recovery, so it's good. We're seeing... Even though we had a uh, a little bit of a, a pullback in the macro global cryptocurrency markets, a lot of the meme coins were still running. Some took a pullback, others pumped to all time highs, and uh, yeah, it's it's going to be exciting. I'm excited to hear some of the shills that we have on the show today. Yeah, absolutely. That's the that's the part of meme uh, the part about meme coins that we really like is the fact that even though oh, you know just general cryptocurrency can be boring, meme coins bring some excitement back because Jake, there was one that Trump won, dude, that absolutely sent. And smack dab middle of like the rest of the market dumping. Yeah, I think the Trump one is a uh, is a niche, right? It, it's a token that as Donald Trump wins, we're starting to see the Trump token go parabolic. But the thing with the Trump tokens is it's risky. I mean, I probably invested in like four or five Trump tokens. All of them failed. This one launched a while ago. Like, I don't even know, maybe back in the summertime or, or late summertime or fall of 2023. Didn't really do much. But as the 2024 elections came around, it's been heating up. and. I made a video about it 11 days ago or 12 days ago. It was around 11 million market cap. I think it's about across 100 million today. So an easy 10x. So regardless of what the market does, there are still some gems out there. And yeah, that's what makes the meme coin space so exciting. Absolutely, man. That's proof of pump, man. You tweet about it. That thing absolutely sends. Um, and then we saw some uh, bigger meme coins uh, continue to reign supreme like Miro. Man, they're taking every single minute to uh, make a partnership. And it seems like they're just investing everything they get back into making the project more well known what's interesting is that we saw bonk kind of dominate also meme coins but whiff is close by man whiff is like a like a 2x and some change from uh matching bonk and uh, myro's pretty close it's interesting to see the landscape of the top meme coins be so different than what it was in 2021 i do think ethereum's gonna pump again man but solana is looking good and also cardano and avalanche jake did you hear that story this morning that avalanche is going to be supporting some of the uh smaller community tokens uh, if they meet certain requirements I saw your tweet, and it looked like they're going to be supporting tokens on the, the AVAX chain. I don't know what that means, but it's, I mean, obviously I know what that means, but so they're only going to be supporting tokens on the AVAX chain. I mean, it's it's probably bullish. What we have one that is on our radar, which is Cock Inu, uh, Cock Inu, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, I mean, it's a bullish tweet. If AVAX starts supporting some of these tokens like we see with Solana and Ethereum and ProFounders, it's probably going to be pretty bullish uh, for these tokens. So that's obviously a, a good thing and and yeah if you don't trade on avax now now's a good time to download a wallet understand how you can get on there and if avax is supporting tokens meme forms on the chain we're probably going to see quite a bit run up yeah it's nice to see the native coins understanding that meme coins are bringing excitement back to their networks and the truth is you know especially during red days meme coins are the excitement in, in the cryptocurrency world and you know people have to buy the native coin to buy that meme coin and then obviously when they take profits they're getting that their their native coin back so uh, you know like like cardano uh for example like snake i mean the snake is a, a, a an awesome project um snake energy sent me like two cases of their energy drink which is actually pretty good but no one was talking about cardano for a while then snake comes out of nowhere and then you know cardano starts to get a little bit of price action because people are buying um cardano to buy some snakes so love to see what meme coins are doing uh for the excitement of crypto yeah exactly i mean we've been saying it i'll continue to preach it because some people might not be on here but really the the future of investing i believe in this DeFi space is is multi-chain 2021 it was really ethereum uh 2023 2024 we saw solana we're seeing some gems pop up on cardano avax etc uh, but yeah, I think the best thing that you can do as an investor is, is be comfortable with, with every chain, have tokens ready to go on every chain, just because you could get an announcement today from AVAX saying, hey, we're going to start supporting meme coins. And like, that probably means having liquidity to invest in meme coins. And I think the future really is multi-chain. So moving away from just you know being Ethereum based and, and getting knowledge and understanding how to invest in all the chains. Absolutely. Well, I think it's time to get some speakers up here. 
Uh, and we are announcing that uh, Jake and I are going to start doing some live streams with our actual face soon. So that'll be fun. Can't wait to hang out uh, with the boy on stage and uh, interact with the community. We used to do that a lot uh, about, about a year ago, but the market got, got kind of boring. I know Jake was traveling a lot. I was moving across country, so we've all been kind of busy. But we're going to get a, uh, we're gonna get some, some sort of schedule back on track and uh, can't wait to stream and talk about some hot meme coins. Because I have a feeling, man, this next bull run is going to be led by the, these small caps in the space and the, these just top meme coins. I think that meme coins are going to be the most exciting thing in crypto. 100%. I agree. I'm excited to do that. I think we have a first one tonight. And uh, yeah, it'll be good to get back on YouTube. I think we're going to be doing that more consistently. So some spaces here in the morning on Twitter, some spaces on YouTube or streams on YouTube and just getting people from all around the world and, and continue to talk about, you know, our favorite thing, which is cryptocurrency. Let's get it. First, we have Wadi, then D Ganja, then we'll do Snoid. And then the the page that, that says Rodney, please pick Polar Inu is here. <laughs> all right, go ahead, uh, Wadi. Hey, hey, what is going on, Jake? What is going on, Ronnie? Chilling, chilling, bro. Yeah, Ronnie, that joke with the 5e, bro, I had like 10 different messages talking about, hello, sir, how can I join your 5 Eve giveaway? <laughs> so, wait, Joe, what are you talking about? Wadi, that's what Wadi said, and he, he said the, the giveaway is still going on today, guys. If you just slide in Wadi's DM, he will give five lucky winners five Ethereum, so. <laughs> yeah, only in his dreams, people. Um, so, yeah, just so you know, so breezy, I saw you down here, I saw your DM, just know it was a joke. Um, no, but back to what you guys were saying. All right, so first, let me give you a warning. I know you guys love playing with meme coins, but stay away from Snowman. It's from Ice Network. Bro, they scam Ice Network itself, and now they just came up with a new one, and it's a meme coin, and it's called Snowman. So stay the heck away from that. Other than that, every other meme coin, bro, it looks good. Um, the ones you guys called out, Ponke, Myro, uh, Myro, I was checking it out too. Snack is looking good. Honk is looking good. So, I mean, I just got to start doing it the correct way. I saw Ponke got listed on Bybit. So when I got into Ponke, it was like around 4, 4.5. I mean, 0 0.045 cents, and I got out around 10 cents. So, double up, and I'm out. But I am keeping an eye on it because I believe it still has some juice in it to run some more. And that's it. I do feel that meme coin is the only thing that keeps people sanity together when it comes to the crypto market because without it it would just be straight up boring appreciate that wadi good point yeah man uh they, they held it down back in april man and they're holding it down again and uh, i didn't know about the snowman token you know uh you know meme coins are always pretty dangerous but we've had some senders lately we do have myra up on stage we'll get myra here talking soon pretty bullish on myra and uh that's looking to do some absolute numbers uh, next, we have D Ganja, baby. What's up, baby? How you doing, brother? Well, 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 I hope everybody's good. Uh, yeah, I fully totally agree with uh, what you guys were saying before. You got to be multi-chain. You can't be one chain. Um, the future is definitely not one chain. And, uh, you know, maybe make some investments based on that. Like, uh, not financial advice, but there's projects such as Chainlink and Quant who are looking to bridge the gap between different uh, blockchains, right? Um, I spoke about a couple Polygon meme coins coming up this week. One got delayed because of uh, what happened in the markets, but uh, looks like the other one's going to be a go for Friday. So I'm going to post it up at the top right now. You can sign up for the airdrop. You can uh, post your wallet. And this is called the Moon Token. <clears throat> I know the guy who is starting it. He is... Uh, he's Alex from Moonflow and Factions. So 
He started in uh, Kronos. He successfully minted out a uh, NFT collection and started uh, this NFT selling platform called Moonflow. He moved it to Polygon and he successfully minted out two collections in Polygon. And uh, there's way more volume on the Polygon side now on Moonflow. And uh, yeah, I will definitely be involved with this project as well. So if you have questions, you could you know try to ask me. I'll, I'll answer to the best of my knowledge or I'll ask Alex and get back to you. But as far as I know, we're launching Friday and uh, we're going to the moon. Appreciate the alpha D God, your man. Uh, you know, we've had a lot of pretty good calls in this space. So, you know, I'll definitely have my ears peer, uh, peeled and my eyes stuck on uh, X to see exactly how that goes and definitely ape into whatever the heck you got going on, man. Uh, is this, is this on Polygon? Absolutely. It's a Polygon meme token. And, uh, you, I'm not saying anyone has to ape in, but you know, I'd use, uh, use a burner wallet and sign up for the, um, airdrop above that I just posted and I emphasize using a burner wallet not because I don't trust Alex because you should be using a burner wallet for your airdrops at all times I hope everyone is using multiple wallets and not putting all their bags in one wallet and uh, not compromising your well you never know when you're gonna get comp compromised right so that's why it's best to use a burner wallet for things like this and uh, you keep your bag somewhere safe where you, you don't really use that wallet to interact with many things unless you trust those apps or those dApps, rather. Agree, brother. Appreciate that. All right, we'll be on the lookout for that, D-Ganja. Next, we have Snoid. What's up, Snoid with the Xeno fam? How you doing? Go ahead, Snoid. You're up. Oh, hey, guys. Hey, Rodney. Hey, Jake. Happy hump day. You know, honestly, I was trying to see how to add. I wanted to give you guys a little image here. Is it under share feedback? Is that okay? Wait, say again. You know how you add. I haven't really run any spaces myself. Hey, yeah. You go to the post. If you're on the phone, you go to the post. And once yeah. you Click on the post. The bottom right-hand corner is going to have, like, a little arrow pointing up. You click on that. <laughs> then, oh, man. You can't, you can't see it? Well, I see the share. Uh, yeah. That's once, okay. No, That's you, okay, guys. I'll you, talk about it. Once you press share, you go up to the top and just click the little thing where it says share in space. Or the little mic thing. Share via post, right? No, you cl you click on the uh, so once you <laughs> click on the post, you go to the bottom right corner. It says era, and it's uh, with the arrow, and all the way at the top it says share post. The first option below that where it says like meme coin chill and chill. So, anyways, guys, I'm I'm having difficulties with my phone. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. Oh, it says join. Um, you know, I'm just, I'm seeing aliens everywhere, so I'm kind of on the run here, I'm not prepared for what's coming next when they beam me up, I know it's going to happen, um, so I'm loading up on Xeno in my wallet, um, and so I'm sorry if I sound a little frazzled, but um, I'm just seeing aliens everywhere, I'm seeing them on the news in Miami, I'm seeing them, you know, I see Elon talking about being an alien. Uh, so I'm going a little nuts here, but I don't think I'm crazy to say that Xeno and Ethereum is going to skyrocket, in my opinion. But, um, we need something new. I mean, I like all the furry, hairy, hairy memes out there, but how about a hairless meme, an adorable little alien that according to Grok, I just, I was going to share this, but we'll figure that out for next time. Sorry. I have a stupid Android phone. Um, it, I just asked Grok, simply, I asked him, who is Zeno to XAI? And he replied, Zeno is the mascot of XAI, and Zeno means stranger, alien, uh, outsider, um, guest. I mean, they don't even go into that detail, but, you know, Zeno has many meanings. 
and it has a lot of meaning, especially, <clears throat> excuse me, especially for a young Elon Musk, if you've heard him interviewed recently. And we know how much he loves space travel, space exploration. And um, he took a lot of comfort at a very young age. I know everyone's heard about that, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. But, um, I mean, Zeno, what we're kind of reading, we've got like a Zeno Wikipedia. If you come join our Telegram, you can check that out. It's like, we've got something like a hundred different answers from Croc talking about the significance of Zeno to Elon. And it's freaking mind-blowing, guys. Like, of course, take everything with a grain of salt. I know Grok hasn't fully been uh, rolled out yet. But we've got that, which is super bullish. And I love this meme. And more than that, I love the community. So I just want to invite anybody here who's curious, come join us. Uh, if you just check my profile, you'll find a link and chill with us and uh i think you'll want to join in appreciate you story shout out to the xeno fam i've been in for a while and uh i've been speaking to people involved with the team so i'm bullish on you guys man appreciate thank it. you rodney absolutely uh next we are uh, welcome to the guy who had my name in his title i guess he's gone but We'll skip over to Myra. What's up, Myra? How you doing? Congrats on smashing through a $10 million market cap. And some people were telling me in my chat this morning that there's another exchange listing. I mean, they posted it. The exchange did. I know you guys haven't talked about it yet. So uh, what's up? How you doing? Yo, what's Welcome. up, Rodney? What's up, Jake? What's up, everybody? Thank you for inviting into the, your spaces. And yeah, so uh, for those who don't know about Myra, Myra, she's the queen of all memes she's the first female dog based on solana and will take over will push the narrative and by the way she's also the wife of myro and that's how we started we decided to a little bit adjust our narrative so now we the first female dog and just in the first week we grew up from the cute little princess to self-sufficient queen and uh, the good thing about it is Myra is the queen of parties as well, and weekends are approaching, and you can take a look at the graphs, how we push it on weekends. Myra is just the queen of all parties. We, like, we grinding every day, 24-7, preparing for some good stuff, and we don't announce much, but, you know, you'll see what's coming, and uh, as always, yeah, uh, we have uh, the sex listing that Rodney just mentioned. We cannot announce, we have an NDA, but it's been announced by them uh, that it's coming, so they will announce it very soon. Uh, we're expecting it to have it this week, and uh, yeah, uh, that's where the party will begin. And uh, we just made uh, more partnerships, and uh, thank you for joining us, Jake and Rodney. Uh, that's, that's a big respect for you, and I mean from us to you, and uh, we appreciate it a lot. And uh, our community, just have a look in our community on Twitter if you haven't yet, because we made a lot of noise. We grind in 24 7. We don't have any dead hours. Like, we push in on every single socials. We just entered TikTok a uh, couple days ago. We also making uh, like marketing there. And we entering YouTube one by one. So, I think Rodney already made a video about Myra, and thank you for that as well. And uh, Jake, we're looking forward to have one about Myra as well. <laughs> and yeah, uh, what's about it? Uh, we are bringing influencers uh, almost like on daily basis. So we just like Myra. If you missed Myra, you can buy like Myra right now because it's really early and we have the same passion. And by the way, we have a lot of whales who already joined Myra. Uh, I mean, Myra whales. Uh, those guys who hold like three million dollars, yeah, we have the guy who's holding three point five million dollars in Myra, and he bought Myra and he's supporting us, and uh, that's a pleasure to have a big book guy with us, and uh, yeah, we have a lot of KOLs by the way, a lot of influencers who've been pushing Myra from like three week three months in a row and they're also supporting us and they definitely have a lot of audience from original myro and that's how we onboard them and uh, we got a lot of eyes on us and now we got the recognition in the building and you know what all those boys 
Like there should be one girl uh, between all those boys to tell them stop fighting. Let's all work in favor of Solana. Solana will be the black blockchain of the year, and we are just so early. Every token is so early. I mean, we shouldn't compete with each other. We shouldn't take eyes from each other and like uh, shut down to on each other. We should just work together in favor of Solana, and that's what Myra does. She spreads love to every single corner of Solana, and yeah, we have Happy Valentine's Day coming. It's all about love, and we are hoping to push Myra to 100 million market cap by the time. So we have a solid plan. We have a lot of like bombs to drop on you. If you join us, you will just see how it's going. Uh, we have daily spaces. Uh, sometimes we have free or two spaces, uh, like some with the guests and one for our community. And uh, yeah, the, uh, the one for our community is coming in two, uh, in 40 minutes. So you're able to join, ask your questions and I'll talk more about Myra. Thank you for taking your time. And yeah, Myra is bullish. She's the yeah. queen of all memes and the first female doc on Solana. Awesome. Awesome. Appreciate you, Myra. Shout out to you, man. We're going to be here rooting for you. And 100 million by Valentine's Day. Uh, hello. That's bullish. I like it, man. It's like every behind every good man is an even better lady. And Myra is a good boy. And it looks like we found a, a good girl on the Solana blockchain. But they're doing good stuff. Shout out to Myra. I got a video dropping a little bit later today. A couple hours just kind of going over the project and highlighting it. So shout out to them. And uh, pretty, pretty cool narrative. I think as Myra does well, we should see Myra do well as well. Yeah, and um, what I've seen is that you guys are kind of taking a page out of their book where you're just tweeting like and posting 24-7. I really do think that's important. Keep the engagement going. I don't know what y'all have to do to stay up 24 hours a day, but it's working for Myro, so anything they can do, you know, I think that it's perfect for you guys. And I think that you guys are actually getting listed on the first two exchanges that they're listed on or something like that, so that's pretty sweet. So uh, you, got, you got a catalyst, you got a date, and uh, we're bullish on Myra. Let's go. Let's get it. Um. Appreciate you, Myra. Shout out to you. Uh, next thank you, we'll thank move you, guys. To... Hell yeah, brother. Next, we have one that says, Rodney, please pick Polar Emu. <laughs> What's up? Hey, good evening. How you doing? I don't see any Polar Emu in here, but your name says Rodney, pick Polar, Polar Emu, so you can go ahead and chill. Yeah, Polar is um, actually sleeping at the moment right now. It's in Australia. The time zones are different, so, so that should just speak for him here. Yeah. All right. So, um, Pula, you know, has been in existence for about a month now, and we have been shilling on Twitter everywhere and paying people just to promote the token. But it keeps going down, but now it's back at 9K. So, we are, it's just a community based project, and we have been trying to get to you, JK, and other influencers on Twitter. Yes, you just know about the project. We have been donating NFTs to the just launched on Solana. Can you hear me, please? Hello? Wait, what, what, man? I, I can barely hear. Your volume is really low. Oh. Yeah. So it has been um, just it started from um, 500 USD market cap. That went to 25K market cap and went down again to about 2K. But now we are getting momentum back to 10K. So I just want everyone here to just check out about Polaino. And as a matter of fact, for this project, our def is um, those dogs that trusted, those videos in the group. So just to know that we can trust him. And um, the tokens that were born to about 1, million, 1 billion tokens. Liquidity is born, and that's all you should know about the project. Hey, man, we're having a real hard time hearing you, man. So if you, if you want to fix your mic, then come back up, bro. But we're, we're, it's really hard, bro. All right, no problem, man. All right, tell, tell the dev to wake up next time, man. Get up here with Polarini. We'll, I'll be on the lookout for you. Yeah, man, all right, bro. We came, we came here last week, but you couldn't reply to us, man. Yeah. Okay. Boy, so you like it. All right, next we're going to move to Turfs. What's up, Turfs? How you doing? What's up, Rodney? What's up, Jake? How you guys doing today? Doing well. What up, what up? Not much, man. Just kind of enjoying the uh, the market picking back up. It seems to be a pretty good week so far. Um, but there's this meme token that I got into back in October. 
uh, called FSD12, and that is fully self-driving version 12 for Tesla. Um, and there's a lot of hype about it right now all over uh, X and uh, Elon just started talking about it in response to Holmar's catalog. And it's sitting at about 500k right now. Um, Liquidity's burned and it's zero tax. Uh, and there's a Tesla earnings call today at 530 EST. So I, I think it's it broke a million market cap. I think once or twice, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but the community itself is is one of the more impressive ones that I've seen, and I'm I'm just really excited to kind of see what happens with that today. Um, and I think it's a, you know, I think it's a decent opportunity uh, if people are chasing that Elon hype, uh, and it's got the potential, in my opinion, to kind of hit that that grok and kind of that troll FOMO, how that kind of got once Twitter really, really started making that narrative go viral. Um, and if you search the term on Twitter right now, you'll see it. It's like everybody who matters in the Tesla world and that's related with Elon is like they're, they're starting to talk about it. There's videos that are going viral. There's um, So I, I just think that that's something that uh, you guys, I know that the, we as a community kind of hit you pretty hard. Um, earlier this morning, so I thought it was a good opportunity to kind of get on here and talk about it with you. Um, just just check it out and, and look at the chart, and I think that once you look at the chart and join the community and kind of search the narrative, uh, you'll kind of understand the potential of it. And, you know, just put it on your radar, keep an eye on it, and um, remember this conversation when it starts running, if it starts running, you know, because <laughs> um, I, I think it's one to kind of, watch i've been holding since october and i just keep being impressed by the community um and it, it seems like there's some really important people that probably bought in um at some point because there's a lot of like cryptic stuff kind of happening with whole mars catalog and then when the community kind of requests for things to be said like there's like cryptic tweets that are being put out by him and i don't know if that's just coincidence or not but um, it's a fun one, and, and I'm excited to kind of see what happens in the next 24 hours with it. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, man, Elon uh, narrative uh, cryptos always have uh, some sort of chance to bump. So love it. Appreciate you, Terp. Shout out to you and your project, brother. Uh, next, let's go ahead and move to, uh, we'll do uh, Dr. Crypto Man who's here. I know what community you're representing. What's up, Dr. Crypto Man? How you doing, brother? Hey, hey, guess what? Today I'm representing a different coin that I found yesterday, not my typical. Wow, yeah. What happened to you? Can you believe that? You, well, huge. the problem with huge is there's another huge that came out, and actually you followed them, um, that, like a copycat or something. Wait, did I follow them? Yeah, you did. <laughs> Oh, shit. But but it's all good it, and honestly they're they're doing some good st steps too. But I'm like man, you know what? It's just they're two alike. But um, anyways, I'm not here about to talk about huge. Oh my god, I found the coin yesterday and I'm I'm already up like four x. I bought in at two hundred thousand. It touched a million dollars this morning. And you got to go see their website while we're talking. It's the Hunter Biden's laptop uh, symbol laptop. Um, but that's what sold me on it. You got to go check it out, man. Right? Like Hunter Biden's laptop dot app. Um, and their symbol is laptop on Solana. Uh, oh my gosh. Their website is freaking hilarious. You, you got to type in the password, which hint is password. And it's got all the files of the Hunter Biden's laptop on there, along with, of course, way, way, ways to buy it. Community is freaking great. It's so hilarious. Nice. Uh, that was pretty funny. That was such a big. That, that's funny that there's a meme coin after yeah, that. Dude. Uh, yeah. It, it, sorry, didn't mean to step on you. No, I thought that was funny. The Hunter Biden laptop situation turned out to be true. Dude, who turns in their laptop? Was he trying to sell it to like a pawn shop? He, what was the He turned for? it into the pawn shop. Um, I don't know for some some fix something to fix on it, and then he just never picked it up. Which is like, I guess that's a cokehead's way of doing things. That's wild. Can you imagine? And it, it, you know, it's so funny in that laptop. He was like documenting himself, like, like if it seemed like he had a GoPro on, like just banging hookers and doing cocaine, <laughs> which is like wild for a president's son to be doing that sort of thing. But it'd be like hey, that sometime. I'm just glad. He maybe they're paying us back now a little bit with you know with this uh, <laughs> laptop coin. It's 
it's hilarious, it's hilarious dude I, I was like i i gotta get me a little bit of that just just because you know i like huge i like the trump all the trump themed coins right now i think they're they're hot um but man this one is just un unique enough i think that uh, if you all go check out the website i, I guarantee you're gonna want a piece of it all right, I'll check it out. I'll definitely check it out. It's funny how it's, it's come full circle because, uh, you know, I think uh, last time, four years ago, like any any mention of that laptop was banned on X, and now X is just a free platform. That's awesome. So shout, out to, yeah, shout out to Elon Musk for freeing us, man. Hey, I'm not taking appreciate any more you. of your time. Thank you for letting me speak. Absolutely appreciate you, brother. Uh, next, we'll move to Flying Avocado Community, and then we'll go to MemeCoin. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, we are indeed a... a community of, of avocado cats that have been granted the ability to fly by our all father brock ai uh we we're created back in november by a mysterious dev who burned their five percent uh token stake and their five percent liquidity we got zero tax and uh and now we're just a, a community that's working to build build some awesome ip um we found a it was a pretty strong floor around the 600k uh, market cap range. So, um, for a project that's been a meme coin project that's been around since November, we're we're feeling good about that. We're adding to our ranks, and uh, we're always looking for for new community members that have, have cool ideas on on where we can take the IP. Nice. I do remember flying Avocado Cat not too long ago. You guys were no pun intended, but you guys were flying for a while. So uh, yeah, you know we're 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 getting our our wings uh, rested a little bit for the next the next flight, but uh, it's coming. We've got some cool stuff in the works, um, and yeah, you'll be you'll be seeing us soaring again. Awesome. Appreciate you. Thanks. What's up, Meme Coin? How you doing? Hey Rodney, uh, yeah, thanks for having us on again. I uh, just thought I'd give you guys a bit of an update because I think we spoke just before Christmas, probably about middle of December. But uh, yeah, just a quick one. So we actually have the conference uh, now confirmed. Um, so it's going ahead. We've got the dates. So the dates are actually the 28th to the 30th of May. So for anybody that doesn't already know us, uh, we are the first ever meme coin conference which is happening alongside our partner, which is uh, NFC Summit. So they're um, the second largest NFT conference uh, in Europe. So we're actually sharing the venue with them in the centre of Lisbon. Um, yeah, tickets are now, they're going to be going live uh, at the start of February. And currently we're kind of on the lookout for speakers. So Rodney, Jake, anybody on this call who'd like to come and maybe speak at the event, we'd love to have you there. Uh, we're also looking for teams, so, uh, you know, Myra, Myro, uh, you know, uh, Flying Avocado Cat, anybody else on this call who wants to reach out to us, we'd love to talk to you about how we can get you involved. Um, and we also have our first spaces, which is taking next place next week, and then we're going to be announcing partners and other kinds of announcements for the community as well. So, so yeah, anybody who wants to get in touch with us, let us know, we'd love to hear from you. Yeah, I do remember you guys from just before Christmas, man. Uh, so, awesome. Glad you guys are still doing that, man. Yeah, thanks, man. It's, it's looking really good. So, yeah, check us out on uh, Twitter. Um, and, yeah, watch out for all the announcements coming next week as well. We've got some cool teams who are going to be joining us and some other really cool stuff as well. Awesome. Appreciate it, brother. Next, we have uh, Dumb Money. Dumb Money, how you been, man? Hey, been Rodney. Hello, Jake. Hi, Waddy. Appreciate you guys. I hope you can hear me. Because um, I can't hear anyone besides Rodney. The space is dragging a bit for me. Oh yeah, I can okay, hear you. Okay, fantastic. Uh, yeah, we're doing well. It, and yourselves? It's been spaces for a while. It's good, man. Dude, your mic setup is crazy. Oh, cool. Yeah, <laughs> spent a bit. Um, yeah, it's just uh, came back to show the dumb money thing again because um, the movie's just premiered on Netflix, which is pretty cool, and I. I advise anyone to go and have a look at the movie. It's a great watch about the the short squeeze, the GameStop short squeeze, and how the the common person took on the the Wall Street uh, hedge funds and institutions and put the squeeze on them just by strength of community, which is um, basically what we're about 
is uh, the mentality of just holding and uh, the roaring kitty who was the figurehead had that like I'm never selling vibe and um, well we launched in November about and if you have a look at my pinned tweet I've got we've got a YouTube channel I've made videos also we're here to sort of help out the the average crypto done money investor who's not a sophisticated uh, market participant. So we've got educational stuff and playing the markets, and I've still got a few to make, but I've kind of got, well, six years in crypto, seven years, and a couple of cycles in, but I've really devoted myself to maximizing my knowledge and, like, reading. I traded a bit before, but I've always had a fascination with investments and what have you. So there's a bit there that should be, I'm not a guru or anything, but some value for people who really knew. And yeah, we um, we actually, we had Christmas off, so we a small coin, 200k market cap, but um, we're holding nicely the floor, and the hold is uh, working, <laughs> as it were. So very bullish, and um, super bullish about crypto over the next year or two or 18 months so we're just going to stick around and um you want to say in the video it's the rare thing a, a coin where the whales actually have higher targets than you so <laughs> that's kind of the catchphrase but yeah um great news about the etfs and i listened to you guys a couple of spaces back fantastic takes all the time um, so thanks. And I'd also just shout out to sort of Brother Coin, which um, hold, which I actually, the first time I was on your um, space, they spoke immediately after me, uh, Simone Crypto, and they, they've got a similar vibe, and hold's doing super well, so it's another one to watch out for. Oh, the, the HODL one, right? Um, yeah, it's everybody hold, and um, the tick hold. Yeah. Yeah, that was a. Uh, it, it was a uh, one of my buddies named Patty Stash. He was he's fighting on that that, that card. Um, uh, he is really big uh, on that one, and they've been doing pretty well. Yeah, actually. exactly. And um, Patty, they kind of took it over because the dev sort of was either abandoned it or wasn't being helpful. So yeah, that that's going up nicely, and um, we've got the same kind of mentality, but a different. A similar vibe, a similar ethos, but a, a slightly different setup in that as far as the market cap and the, they're much more decentralized. We've got more centralized ownership, honestly. But yeah. that can be a good thing because um, we like diamond fisted. So that, that's bullish and I think we've got the a super narrative and cool memes. So we're going to carry on uh, after a nice, quiet Christmas, chilling in the nature. we like fired up and ready to go and s s stay with it, this uh, bull run. Awesome, brother. Well, it's good to have you back on the spaces. Good to see you uh, out here shilling dumb money again, man. And we'll definitely be on the lookout for Thanks, Jamie. Thanks. Really appreciate, appreciate you, all you guys. Absolutely appreciate Thanks you. Thanks, from Waddy. <laughs> I hope you <laughs> hit the wrong button. Yeah, I'm sorry. I meant to hit the high. I hit that thumbs down. Okay, take care. All right, let's let's move. We have Cardano review. What's up, Cardano review? Hey, how's it going? Going good, going good. Thanks, thanks again for letting me up. Came here to talk about Catsky AI again, and I know the markets have kind of taken a tumble. But one of the things we want to do is give back to the community. So anybody who leaves a comment in the Catsky Discord, in the general chat, we will be raining down some free Catskys for anybody who wants some. Um, but yeah, check out the project. We're all about cats, memes, and AI. And yeah, keep it short and sweet. Thanks. Appreciate you, brother. Thanks for keeping it short and sweet. Uh, next, I'm trying to get Goat Trader up here. But you think you keep writing? I'm going to get back to you, Goat Trader. Uh, can you speak now? Probably not. Space is kind of rugging a little bit right now, but go trader, you live? Yeah, what's up? Yeah, I try to prove you like three or four times. I know, bro. I don't know what's going on. 
What's up, man? What you got? Oh, you already know. Um, that Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, yeah, we're sitting on about two million now. There's still a little retracement going on, but there's still so much bullish things to come. And yeah, I'm just super bullish on the project for the next leg. <clears throat> Nice man, yeah. I've been, uh, I did see it's de- most Ethereum tokens are just taking a big dump. That's what I've noticed. E- all the ones that I'm in, they're just down pretty bad right now. There's a few that are up, but you know we need Ethereum to get a little bit of pump, man, to get some love back to the Ethereum network. So exactly. it'd be like that. I mean. But two million mark cap, still pretty good. Um, appreciate you, uh, Go Trader. Shout out, shout out to Douglas. Uh, and next we'll move to we have Daniel. What's up, Daniel? How you doing, baby? Man, what's going on, baby? How are you, man? What's, uh, you and Jake hanging out today? Living the dream, just hanging out with the boys, you know? Man, Rodney, I'm over here freezing, baby. We on the East Coast, man. It's cold as hell over here, man. Yeah, I, I, I was snowboarding last week, and uh, it was like six degrees, and I was coming back. But I, it didn't actually feel that bad. I mean, as long as you have, like, gear, you're good. But, uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a warm weather kind of guy. Yo, try minus six out here where I'm at, man. Absolutely not. Get, miss me with that. <laughs> you know, man, but I just want to get up here. Um, I want to talk. Uh, I'm going to pin something to the nest here in a minute, but um, I want to get up here and talk a little bit about Uno Dex, man. Real quick, Uno Dex is a decentralized platform where you can trade all of your ERC20 tokens. What makes it unique, though, is it's built on its own node. So it's um, it's way faster than using Uniswap, way faster um yeah, two times faster, probably somewhere in there. But uh, it's got its own sniper bot built in there. You can do limit trades in there on all ERC twenty tokens at launch. You can also do stop losses on all ERC twenty tokens at launch. And the Solana blockchain will be coming in about two weeks. Um, but it's all decentralized. It's the first decentralized trading platform. Um, you know, that's been out like this, uh, you know, there's not another one out there, but it's built on its own node, which makes, which makes it extremely, extremely, extremely faster than Uniswap. And you don't have to pay for failed transactions. And you can, um, you have an auto sniper bot built in where you just put the contract in there, put the amount of ETH in there, set it, hit your snipe, but you also can customize it. You can snipe the liquidity pool. As soon as it comes out, a whole bunch of stuff you can customize that bot to do. Um, all the charts are brought over from TradingView. Great, great trading platform, man. Um, them limit trades and that stop loss um, on these lower market cap tokens, man. It's a lifesaver. You can go to bed. You don't got to worry about that thing dumping all the way down because it's going to execute that trade for you. As soon as it hits that stop loss mark, man, and you don't got to worry about it. And like I said, the biggest bullish news of that is that Solana's coming in about two weeks. That blockchain is going to be integrated into this platform. And you earn Ethereum rewards three times a day based on the volume of that, um, the volume of uh, trades coming off of that DEX and also um, from the token as well. So three times a day, they're, recal- they're calculating them re- uh, rewards and giving them to you in your wallet. And it's all written in the smart contract. So no dev is behind the scenes calculating them rewards. It's an automatic. Um, so that's my quick shill for Uno DEX. I'll post it up in the nest here for a minute, you know, but, you know, Rodney, I've talked about this project before. First of its kind, baby. Daniel, give us your thoughts on the market right now. Bitcoin having, Bitcoin pumping, dumping, meme coins. What's, what's your take on it, man? Man, my take on the market right now is this is straight market manipulation. Um, you you have these ETF, these uh, BlackRock and everybody else, they're strictly manipulating the market. Um I, you know, I said this when the ETFs came out, everybody was over, over thinking what was going to happen. Uh, but I think the having, um, you know, that's going to play a big, big role in where we go in Bitcoin. And I think the ETFs will play a, a, a crucial role once um, all these guys go ahead and they, they level this price off. They dump what they want to dump. And then you're going to have the having. And then I think a couple months after the having, we're going to send this market into, into places that we've never seen this crypto market send before um we're looking i'm calling it right now i've been calling it for a long time 10 trillion dollar market cap in the next bull run we're going into a super cycle everybody's just got to be patient chill out buy these bargains let these big institutions that we've invited into crypto manipulate the market make their money back do what they're going to do um and then um and then you know we'll send this thing after the having 
but just be patient and don't get shaken out of your um don't get shaken out of your uh, bitcoin positions right now that's what they're looking for just hold on to your bitcoin it's going to be worth it's going to be worth more than more than what you can even think of in the next bull run so just just hold on hold on tight and uh and we're gonna go into the super cycle and everybody better have their seat belts on and everybody better have their bags packed because when this thing takes off man this thing is gonna go absolutely nuts and i hope everybody in here um is a millionaire because they got their shit together yeah, I absolutely agree, man. You know, I was watch I was reading a lot of the different news articles this morning, and what it shows is that on some exchanges that a lot of these Bitcoin whales are buying up a lot of the Bitcoin, and uh, you know, uh, it looks like it was a BlackRock accumulated or the ETFs, right? The the com the total ETFs. I think they've accumulated a hundred thousand Bitcoin, whereas Michael Saylor over three years acquired one hundred ninety thousand Bitcoin, um, and it, it and they did that in, in a week, right? So they're buying Bitcoin. Bitcoin's moving from weak hands to strong hands, you know. And so they're, tr they're trying to shake a lot of people out. So you know. yeah, if, if, you look, if you look at the market and what they're actually doing, they're actually dumping the market and then allowing the fear from the retail investors to dump the market even further. And they're actually coming behind you and buying up more Bitcoin at a cheaper price. So by the, when they're done doing what they're going to do with this market manipulation, they're going to end up with more Bitcoin than what they started with. And they're going to have it at a cheaper price. They're not doing anything different than what we would do as traders. They're just doing it on such of a big level that it's affecting the market. And this is what institutional investment investors do. And they're not holding on to a billion dollars worth of Bitcoin because they think Bitcoin's going to go back to twenty thousand dollars. Completely agree, Daniel. Great points. Uh, why do you have something quick to add on? Then move from Wadi to Clown Coin. Then we have Buddha in the house. Yeah, no, uh, me and Daniel were in um, his place yesterday and we spoke all about it. And another game that they're doing is that, uh, let's say, for example, Grayscale sell uh, BlackRock buys. Because BlackRock, last time I checked, if you go through the Arkham wallets, they have like $1.13 billion worth in bitcoin so it's like i said all, all these people institutional investors they're not stupid so yeah they want to get as slow as possible but they're holding on and they're buying more you know grayscale that they're selling i feel like that's just their tactic so they could accumulate more and in the long run everyone that's in crypto now is going to be good to go. Awesome. Appreciate you, Wadi. Great points. Uh, let's move to Clown Coin. What's up, Clown Coin? Go ahead, Clown Coin. You're up. All right. Well, we'll get back to Clown Coin a little later. But uh, next we have Buddha. What's up, Buddha? I actually got a video coming out for you guys. Here very, very soon. Can't wait to put that out. How y'all doing today? Hey, namaste, Rodney. Namaste, everybody. How's everyone doing? I, I'm i doing great, by the way. Um, I just wanted to come in and also just, you know, you guys have such great conversations, and I love chiming in on what you guys are talking about. And I just wanted to echo the sentiment from Daniel and Wadi a little bit here about just the market manipulation with Bitcoin and not to necessarily, you know, get shaken out. I really liked what Daniel said, too. We all got to chill out. <laughs> that is literally what, what Buddha coin is all about is creating that space to come and chill out. Um, but, you know, I just before I talk about Buddha coin, just a tiny little bit, I just wanted to get back on the Bitcoin topic and just kind of remind us all like. I don't know if everyone's been here as, as long as some of us has, but if you guys remember in 2017, we saw BTC run from like 4,000 up to about 20,000. And we were all super hype, we're super euphoric, and we're like, oh my gosh, institutions are coming, look, the futures are coming, the future markets are coming, look at the CBO, look at the CME, they're, they're making future markets for Bitcoin, and the day they got approved, what happened? The market started crashing, we fell from $20,000 per Bitcoin, and we bled out for years, all the way down to about $3,600. 
history is just going to repeat itself. Instead of this time as being a futures, it's going to be the ETF. We just have to be patient. We have to just cool our minds. We have to calm down. We got to chill out. And we just have to understand that crypto does some weird time distortion to us where one day feels like a, um, a year, you know, um, and, and again, this is, this is, a, you know, everything that Buddha coin sort of focuses on is creating that space for financial mindfulness, slowing down, understanding that we're in such a fast, rapid space and, and toning that down, taking a step back and, and trying to find, um, you know, mental clarity and, and financial pros, uh, prosperity, but we're taking it slow and we're just building things one at a time. I just want to say that Buddha coin is welcome to all walks of life. It's not necessarily just something that is primarily focused on spirituality, but, um, um, the message overall is, is for everybody, you know, rather you're into astrology or tarot readings, you're into EDM music that focuses a lot on finding yourself and, and self-discovery. Um, so many different walks of life, uh, can apply for, for this type of coin. So we just want to get that out that we, we welcome everyone here. Buddha again with a great message, man. And, uh, congrats on that Gopit partnership that was announced, but yeah, it's a good point. It's like usually crypto does what is least expected. And honestly, we see pumps when we least expect it. Remember back in 2021, what was it? We were pumping all summer and then we Bitcoin went from like 62K down to 40K. Everyone was calling for a bear market and then we pumped to all time highs. So I think it's a perfect message. Like just have conviction, dollar cost average. We always talk about it's boring, but crypto will pump when you least expect it. But I think there's some positive catalysts that are coming here in 2024. Yeah, great point. And Buddha, to go back to what you were saying about EDM music, man, that is a spiritual experience, buddy. Nothing like it in the crowd of people with the bros, you're some good friends, and some good music. That is an absolute spiritual yeah. experience, bro. Yeah, I, I gotta say, you know, the EDM music is what really kind of saved my life personally. Um, you know, everyone goes through their mental struggles and stuff and just listening to the music and some of the messaging and lyrics behind the music really did take, really did take me a really long way. And it, you know, it kept me here and, you know, now we're doing this. So I think that, you know, you're absolutely right. Love to hear it, Buddha. And I'm excited to put out that video today. I'm going to make it really sick, uh, you know, engaging. And I'll keep you guys posted on that, man. And I uh, appreciate your project. and appreciate what you guys are doing, man. It's tough being an ERC-20 token right now. But, uh, you know, as soon as that uh, Ethereum starts getting some action, I believe you guys will be one of the bigger meme coins on the network. Hey, we going to be all right. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, Buddha. Uh, next, we'll move to Troll. What's up, Troll? Yo, what is up, cool cats and dogs? and whatever else is on stage. Yo, check us out, Troll. Yo, we launched October, and we got 5% of our supply burnt right now, but yo, we got NFTs coming because the $100 million project, they didn't want them, so we put them into this project instead. Yo, we are the coolest troll. We are the first emoji troll. Yo, check us out. That's all I gotta say. I'll maybe pin something. Well, we did troll Jake. We did troll uh, Rodney the other day. We did uh, put our face on top of theirs. Uh, we do look a well, lot, lot, lot better than they do. Nothing personal. They're good-looking gentlemen, but I mean, you know, we're a lot cooler. Anyways, uh, that's all I gotta say. Cats, dogs, uh, you know, take us outside for a walk. Uh, gotta go. All right, I remember we had Troll on stage last time, Jake. I don't remember. I, he did not sound like that last time. There ain't no way. That's my partner. Uh, okay. <laughs> definitely interesting that's all i gotta say about that pitch right there definitely interesting troll thanks man uh yo check this out and we we we, we gotta get you guys on board everybody on board yo we, we're not trolling we're fucking we're just taking this shit serious go check our chart today you know what i'm saying that's all i gotta say all right we're the troll all right let's go uh next well, i like this side of troll bro right <laughs> fucking a sick one dude I need whatever coffee you're drinking right now. But we have Fresh Mint up with the funny pepper. What's up, Fresh? Hey, man, I'm doing well today. I just kind of uh, take a moment to speak about the uh, friend coin that's on uh, Cardano. It uh, arose from uh, basically a community-driven initiative off the Ada Peep, uh, Peepos FTs. And it's been around uh, about a month now. Um, looking around 4.5 million USC market cap. The initial uh, founders, like they were just were doing an NFT project in the community urged like a, a coin to be made so then they enlisted the help of like a pretty much a pioneer in this space Bave, and they whipped up a coin it's been doing amazing ever since um basically the initial lp they took 30 percent of it 
and by the community's request, it was sent to the snake burn wallet. So then all that LP was gone. And then as soon as that we were working, they're working on doing the airdrop for the NFT holders. They decided to, from the community, like a hard decision uh, on their own, they decided to burn a majority of the airdrops. So the team is making it, started out as Todashi and he uh, implemented, he, uh, what do you call it? Recruited the help of Bave and Jeff and together they've been propelling the project to new heights and uh, the holder count's been soaring. It's been trending like crazy. On Cardano, as far as metrics go, it's been uh, competing with uh, Snake, which is the number one meme coin on our chain, and even putting in comparable or overcoming the 24-hour uh, trading volume versus a juggernaut like that. And it's only been out for roughly a month now. So a lot of big things are in the works, like a gamified staking uh, element, as far as like depending on what traits your people's NFTs have, they'll be getting bonus stake depending on where we are at on the staking adventure each month. And uh, lots and lots of bullish things happening for the project and lots of like big names in Cardano and just in crypto are uh, being involved with the project. And it's just a community driven project and just a meme coin at this point. And it's taken on a life of its own. But yeah, if, you, if anyone wants any info, I'd say check out the ADA underscore Peepos uh, Twitter. I'm just like a moderator in the Discord. I just keep peace but yeah it's a really amazing project and for it to be competing for snake on volume metrics and other ones it's it's really something to take a look at i know people kind of scoff at yeah, that it's crazy what's the what's the market cap uh, 4.5 right million uh, usd so around like 9 10 million uh, ada and like yeah and that's crazy that it's uh compete like because i know snack when i checked it was like 60 plus million so that's pretty wild that they had more 24 hour volume yeah snack. exactly and it's like unruggable because if you check the snake burn wallet that's where the initial 30 percent liquidity is and in addition to that there were they're implementing other possible burn mechanisms and uh, another thing i forgot to mention majority of the ada people's uh, nfts royalties gets uh, put into a fund and it's a buyback and then burn sent to the same exact snake burn wallet so you can check it and they send transaction ids so you can really track it but it's it's really an interesting project and the community just is stronger than most nft projects i've seen and it's the most live discord you can be in i like it yeah i mean like we've always said multi-chain's the future and i mean i got snack like pretty early i got it on a dip uh after the first pump and i think other cardano tokens will will definitely take off whether it's this one or another one i think that there's going to be a lot of cardano 100 percent. and one thing it's like it's really hard for a lot of like just from the blockchain perspective a lot of eth like meme coins to be doing airdrops and all these things but with the utxo model it's so efficient with cardano for transactions that we're allowed to do a lot more interesting things with staking and it's non-custodial staking so you don't have to lock up your coins or worry about any any weird stuff it, you can you'd consider it soft staking eth but it allows people to you know have full control of their tokens and then be able to stake those in a stake pool as well so it's really utilized the meme coins are really utilizing the utxo account model of cardano and, and it allows us to do a lot of crazy things nice man love it i've seen you guys in my uh, stream a lot lately so i'm gonna have to check into that man i have to take the uh the adventure out into the uh, the Cardano ecosystem again, man. I would love so, to hear you, man. I mean, we'd, lo we'd love to have you. If you pop in the Discord or something, we'll hit you up with a Peepo NFT or something. But yeah, I've been talking too long already. But yeah, if anyone has any information, uh, any information, DM me, whatever, Discord. We love you. I appreciate you. Shout out to the friend community. But uh, that is our time today, guys. Uh, it's been a fantastic time hanging out with you guys. Good viewers, good engagement. Lots of fantastic projects up here today. Um, so... Uh, appreciate all the projects who came up here and spoke. And uh, we'll see you same time tomorrow. Jake, any closing words? No, another good space. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, we're going to be going live on YouTube tonight, I believe, in about five hours. So come join us there. Talking about meme coins, talking about crypto, talking about Bitcoin ETF, talking about everything. So come join us on YouTube, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern.